All right, iPads away, Ruben. I mean, not Ruben. Uh, Jordan. One, eight, twenty-four. We're going to take two things that you learned right before winter break, and we're going to put them together, Brianna, into one newer thing. But before we start the newer, we're going to do a little review. A little review. <coughs> I'll check our hiding spot. Okay. Discount. What's your first step? Who remembers? What's their first step for discount? Yes, multiply, which is what you were supposed to do uh, in the do now. So your first step is to multiply. You take your price, and you're going to multiply it by your percent, and this will give you how much you save, how much you save. All right, your discount is your price times your percent. That's going to give you how much you save. So if on the do now, it says how much do you save, you just do this step and you're done. If it says save. All right, what's our second step for discount if we need to do the second step? Oh. Yep. Take your price and you're going to minus your answer here. So you take your price again. And you're going to take whatever answer you got here, you're going to use it. Whatever answer you got here, you're going to use it. This will give you your new price. This will give you your new price. So, Jaden, we write this down so that when we are ready to do our classwork, you use it. And you finish your classwork in class. All right. So that's for discount. Now we're going to talk about tax. Okay, now we're going to do tax. What's your first step for tax? Multiply. Yeah, you're going to multiply. I'm going to call it the new price, though. It's still the same thing as, like, price. Price times, what do I multiply by? Uh, the, the percent. As a decimal. Yes. Yeah. This will give you your tax amount. So your tax amount is usually a small number. If you get a really big number for tax amount, I'm pretty sure you did something wrong with the decimal. So it should be a very small number. Like a dollar? If something costs 10 or less, then it's a dollar or less. Mm -hmm. If something costs $100, mm -hmm. then it's $10 or less. What? what? So for every $100, you're paying an extra $10. It's an estimate. It's not exact, but it's a good estimate. Why do we have the tax? Yes, because we have to pay our bills. Yes, hence, you do not pay for school, do you? But someone does. I pay for school. So we pay for school? Yeah, in the end. I got parents? Yeah. <laughs> you like the park, the skate park that some of you might go to? So I'm going to pay for that. Oh, oh. taxes. Everything is paid for by someone. And sometimes it's your taxes. <laughs> okay, so for taxes, so you're going to be doing this for your homework. Sometimes your homework is just like these two steps. Sometimes your homework is like the top two steps. Okay, in class, we're going to use all four steps together. Four steps. So, it looks hard, but it, it's not really. The, the neater your notes are, you know, the more you follow along, the easier the math will be. So, the more clearly you write new price times your percent is your tax amount. And oh, I forgot here. Do I add or subtract my tax? Add. add. Second step is add. First step is times. Second step is add. Whoop, that's a huge one. Muy importante. 
Very important. All right, we okay? Well, it was very chilly this morning. Can't yeah. handle it. Yeah, it was very cold. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy a nice warm jacket. That cost $60. Okay, so our jacket cost $60. But of course, Miss Amelia never buys anything that's not on sale. So it is on sale for 20% off. Because we must not spend 100%, but we must always save money. So we're going to save money uh, 20%, okay? But of course, we have to pay taxes. That's what runs everything. 8% tax. 8% tax. So we're like in Costa Mesa with 8%. Okay. So we're going to do a total of four steps with our calculators. Okay? All right. What's our first step? We're going to take, so you look back at your notes. What's my first step? Price. Price, price. times percent. Price times percent. So what's my price? 60 times 20%. How do I write 20% as a decimal? You don't need a zero. All right, type it in or do it. Type it in or do it. My eighth grade self. Where? All right. What's sixty times point two? Ruben, what'd you get? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Very good. All right. What's our second step? So you look at second step. You take your price, and you're going to subtract your answer. So these two are the same. You're going to use the same number on the top, mm -hmm. but the number here is whatever your answer is. So this goes right there. So 60 stays the same. You see how it's the same number on the top? Minus your answer. What was our answer? 12. So type it in or do it on the paper. 48. So 12 is how much I save, because sometimes on the do now, I just ask you, how much do you save? 48 would be your new price. Okay, we would be done if I just ask you for discount, which I kind of do on your homework. I just ask you for discount. But today, I'm asking you for discount and tax. So I'm now going to do your tax. Okay, so this happens at Target every single day. They take the 48. They no longer take 60. 60 is, we're done with it. And we're gonna multiply 48 times your percent. It's 8%, so what do I write down? 0.08. If you do not write that zero, everything will be wrong. This is zero is extremely, extremely important. All right, type it in or do it on paper. Type it into your calculator. Jackie, type this into your calculator. Do it. All right, what do we get? Three dollars and what? Thank you, Jaden. Three dollars and eighty-four cents. And what's our second step in tax? I add. If I look back at my notes, new price plus tax amount. Oh, I take my answer, and I use it again. Yes, you take your answer and you use it again. Forty-eight plus three dollars and eighty-four cents. 
48 plus $3.84. Use a calculator or add it on paper. 40, 30, 51. <laughs> What's your answer, Jordan? 51.84. Good. So this is my tax. That's my tax. Because sometimes on the homework, I just ask you for the tax. And then your total is $51.84. That's your new total. That is when you go to the store, this is the number that you hear. You don't see or hear any of the other steps. The computer does that. All you hear is this number. And then you give them your cash or your credit card. Mm. Yeah, at the end of it, after taxes. So you do still end up saving money. And your taxes are less because this is this number smaller, which is cool. Well, Miss Lomeli hates the cold weather so much, she wants to hop on a plane and go somewhere hot. Where is the temperature currently warm? Hawaii? What's the current temperature in Honolulu, Hawaii? Who says Honolulu? It's drizzling. What? And it's 72 degrees. And the high is 74. No, Australia. Madagascar. Australia. Australia. It is summer right now. Yeah. Africa. China. China is winter. Okay, it's not. South Africa. What are you writing? Plane ticket? Uh, well, South oh. Africa? Yeah, South Africa. Yes. It was like where Mr. Beast went. Okay. <laughs> so, Orlando, I'm going to write this down. My plane ticket to oh. somewhere warm and tropical Australia. is right now $748. Why is it so much? Because plane tickets are expensive. What is that? Plane ticket? Your plane ticket is seven hundred and forty-eight dollars. Uh, Southwest is having a sale though. Thirty-five percent off. Yes, it is. Then you do have to pay a nine percent tax. What? What if you go like to Mexico? You still pay a tax, and there's other fees you have to pay. Right down south, not up here. The closer you are the equator, the warmer it is. If right, so here's the equator. It's warm, right? Anything right now below the equator, like Brazil, Argentina, those countries, those are all right now in summer. Right now we're in winter, cold. So it's the opposite. Yes. Uh, it's still different. Okay, so what's our first step for discount, Jordan? What's our first step? What's our first step? Thank you. I got it, I got it. 748, that's my plane ticket. Times 0.35. Times 0.35, very good. Type it into the calculator, please. I don't have a calculator. Your iPad works. I know, but like, I have my iPad on the All right, type it into the calculator. See if you can type it in correctly. It's a skill. It's a skill. All right, what's what's 748 times 0. 0.35? 200 what? No. 251.8? That's what I got. 748. That's how much you save. Make sure you type it in as 0. 0.35. Good. Okay. Now what's our second step? Minus. Minus. So 748.00 minus 261.80. Type it in. Type it in. Type it in. Your calculator will do it. If you're doing it on paper, yeah, you do need the zeros. 748. 9%. Minus, uh, that's lower than Santa Ana. Santa Ana is 9.25. Oh my God, that's a good chapter. All right, so what's my new price of my plane ticket before taxes? 486. 
486.2. This is my new price. That's so much. Right? I can buy a few five of that. Mm. Oh, wait, there's taxes you got to pay. <laughs> okay, Jordan, we are recording. 486.20 times. What is my tax? My tax is 9%. So how do I write down 9%? Yep. And we still have some students who do not type this incorrectly. So they get a really wrong answer. And it makes everything wrong. So make sure you're typing this correctly. Go slow on the typing in. Nine. All right. Yep. All right. Well, we got too many numbers because we're talking about money. So what do we do when we have too many numbers? We're going to no round. Can you tell me what number is in the penny slot? No. Five is the penny slot, the hundredth spot. So, what does the eight tell the five to do? Stay the same or go up? Go up to to a six. So everything else stays the same. The eight. Yeah, it disappears, turns into a zero. That's the whole point of rounding, is to make it smaller. It evaporates. Evaporates, I like it. All right, so what's our last step? Add. Add. Add 486.20. Basically, your answer from there, you bring it down, and you're going to add. Make sure you add a plus sign so you tell yourself what are these steps. So when you do it on your own, you... No. No. Oh, yeah, 4376, yes. That's your tax. It's 529.96. So how much is my plane ticket to paradise? 529.96. This is your total. So I'm going to need about $530 for me to buy this plane ticket. What? That's it? Uh, totally, right? You could buy a PS5 with that. No, because my tax is like 50 Dollars extra. What? Yeah. Taxes are that much. Yeah, they for PS5. Okay, next year, 50. Remember, for every 100, you're paying 10. Yeah, so 50. Five hundred and sixty dollars. I get it. I bought mine for my phone. For like 600. Let's recording. I forgot. Oh, I'll get them later, Jaden. Just keep them for now. All right. Make sure it reads discount tax. Tax. Make sure the title has the word tax on it. You're on the back side. Okay. And the first words are a jacket. That's how you know you're on the right side with me. A jacket is on sale at a department store for 20% off the regular price of $90. The sales tax is 9%. What is the final cost of the jacket? Okay, so you have a discount and then you have a tax, right? So you have a discount and a tax. We got to do them. Four steps. Step number one. Are we going to finish for today? Yeah, maybe. 20 minutes? Okay, step one. Take your price. What's the price of the jacket? 90 And multiply it by your percent discount. Point two. Point two. Love it. All right. Type it in. Yes, you can. This is the point where if you know what to do, you go on ahead of us, um, and we can check your answers and give you a star. Eighteen. Eighteen. So now you're going to take your 90, and you're going to subtract your 18. Type it in. Wait. After I, I get the answer for like um, the discount, like the taxes by that number. Oh. Give me one second. I just got a notification. Error. 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 Error
Oh, yeah. And then multiply 72 times your tax percent. Oh, yeah. 72 times 0.9. Thank you. 